Okay, hello everyone. In this video, I'm gonna talk about flying. I know that right now is not the best time to fly, but I will share with you some tips anyway. Flying as a wheelchair user can be problematic. You have to worry about your catheterization and your skin because you don't want any skin source. So for the first time that I traveled after my injury was a flight to Peru. It was an eight hour flight. So I was with somebody else. I was pretty nervous the first time, but then I got used to it. And right now I usually fly by myself with nobody else. Something that you should know is that because you're in a wheelchair, you can have an extra medical supply luggage for free. So you can put in this luggage all your medical things related. Uh, like, for example, for me, I put my catheters, any medication, towels, wipes, and everything that can be related to medical supplies but I also try to put things that are heavy so I have extra space on the other luggage. Once I even put a shower chair I took it apart and I put it on the luggage. It was pretty heavy but since it's free you don't have to worry about it. Also most airlines have different air force. For example, they have economy, economy plus, and first class. In economy plus, you are closer to the door and you have more leg room. But of course, it's more expensive than the economy class. But you don't have to worry about it. When you book a flight, you just buy the cheapest ticket. And after that, you can call the airline and ask them to move your seat closer to the gate. I always do it. I call and I tell them, I explain them that I'm using a wheelchair and I need assistance to get in and out of the plane and that I need my seat closer to the door. So they just change my seat and put me in the economy plus section with they put me with my companions so if you travel with someone they also are gonna move your companion next to you and you don't have to pay anything else for that also when you call them you can tell them that you are checking a medical supply luggage so you don't have any problem at the airport I remember this is a free luggage for you. Once you buy your ticket and you do your check-in, you have to board the plane. And remember, you're gonna be the first one to board it. You have to tell the flight attendant that you're waiting and they're gonna put you in the first place to board the plane, even before first class. In my case, I ask for assistance to get in and out of the plane and for an aisle chair or cabin chair. This chair is a very narrow chair that let you get in the airplane to get to your seat. So what they do, they I, they, I go to the gate and they transfer me to the aisle chair and once I'm on the other chair they roll me to the to, to my seat. Now about seats. I've heard that some airlines policy you have to be seated on the aisle seat or on the window. I'm not sure about it, but for me I prefer the the window seat. Let me explain why. This is because when you are in the aisle seat you have to worry about your legs. For example, if the flight attendant is moving the cart, the food cart, you have to be careful that they don't 
uh, hit your leg. Also, when somebody wants to get off their seat, they're gonna expect you to give them space and move your legs so they can get out and get in. And for us, you are not gonna move your legs. So you have to use your hands and try to move them to let the other passenger go in and out. For me, that's a little annoying. So I prefer being on the window seat. It's harder to get in and to get out, but once you're there, you don't have any problem and you just can enjoy your flight. Once you arrive at your destination, you'll have to wait. Remember, you was the first one to board the plane. But once you arrive, you're gonna be the last one. So everyone has to get out of the plane and they will help you at the end to get out. It might take some time to get out of the plane. So you have to remember if you book any connection flight, you have to do it with some time in between so you can have time to get out of a plane and maybe if you have to go to the bathroom to do your catheterization, you will have time to that and get on your connection flight. Believe me, you don't wanna board the plane with everyone in it. You wanna be the first one to board the plane because once I boarded with people in there and it was a mess. One thing that I do before a long flight is I reduce my water intake so I don't have to catheterize myself constantly and I do it before boarding the plane and once I get out of the plane. So if you don't drink too much water, you're gonna be fine during the flight. So remember about flying. You can have an extra medical supply luggage for free. You can have better seats without paying extra. You just have to call the airline beforehand and tell them that you need to be closer to the gate. You're gonna be the last of getting out of the plane and you should think about the amount of water you drink because, for example, I usually take eight hours flight. So if I'm gonna be the first one to get into the flight, is like one hour more. And if I'm gonna be the last one, it's another one hour. So it's gonna be like eight up, no, 10 hours without catheterizing myself. I've been doing this every year at least I travel once a year and by myself, I don't need any companion anymore. And yeah, I mean, I didn't have any skin sores. I don't know if someone use their cushion when they sit on the airplane seat. I don't, and I haven't had any problems, but it's something to think about. Let me know how long was the longest flight that you ever had. And how do you do it? Well, that's it for this video. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Bye.